heard he's got a sick kid. Apparently, the poor boy can't even get out of bed. Must be hard on the father. that coffer you have. I've got all five of the soul fragments for Dodge. You serious? I searched the whole damn world or what's left of it and never found a single one of them. You, you found them for me, Lightning. <sighs> Thank you for this. You saved my son for me. That chocobo, it wasn't here before, was it? <laughs> yeah, she'd up and left us in a lurch. Dodge's little chocolina. Didn't even notice when she snuck back in. Chocolina? Never mind that. What about Dodge? The Coffer of Souls is right there, so drop in those soul fragments. Nice and gentle. Lumina said, once they're put in that box, they'll become one again. You do that, and I'll take care of whatever comes next. Open the box, and the soul should go back to Dodge all in one piece, where it belongs. Okay. Hmm. What the? What's wrong with this thing? Damn box won't open. Hello, hello. Ah, why doesn't this thing work? I got Dodge's soul back, didn't I? Hmm. His soul is reborn, but his heart's shut away tight. Little Dodge is frightened and doesn't want to come out. It's your scary face. My face? Uh, what am I supposed to do about that? It's the only one I've got. Hell with that. Hey, Dodge. Dodge, can you hear me in there? You're messing with your old man, right? Tell her, son. You're not frightened of me. Come on, Dodge. Wake up, Dodge. Dodge. <sighs> ah, son, Dodge. Huh? Now what are you on? Quit it or I'll stick you in a cage. Stop flapping around. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Look, sit there and shut your beak, will you? Ow! Hey, that hurts! What was that for? Ah, uh, ouch! Hey, that seriously hurts! Ah, blasted fluffball! Huh? What? Cool it, will you? What's gotten into that pea brain of yours? All right, all right, all it's right, the way right. you look. You too? Damn, the whole world's got it in for my face. Saz, I'm serious. You should see yourself. You're scowling all the time, like you want to scream at someone. Is that right? Scary face, huh? So that's what you mean. <sighs> I've been wrapped up in my own anger. I didn't think about what I must look like to dodge. I used to be different. No matter how tough the going got, could always figure out a way to smile and let Dodge know it was okay. Yeah, it's something a father's got to learn to do. <sighs> I've been doing it all wrong, but that ends now. Dodge, remember that game we used to play? Pilots, are you ready? This space race is gonna decide who's the fastest air jockey in all the pulse. And blast off! Whoa, Chocobo and airship are neck and neck. Who's gonna crack first? Shoom, I'm Saz Catroy bringing you the race of the century, together with Supersonic Dodge. Hey, Dodge, you awake? Come on, Supersonic. You're gonna miss the race. Here, open your eyes. Your dad's here. Whoops. Oh, oh, hey, are you okay? Huh? Ah, <laughs> you're all right. Sorry about that. Guess I got too caught up in the space race. Again. Huh? <gasps> huh? Whoa. <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> That's not 
not fair. Space race all on your own. That's our game. I want to play too. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're all so clumsy. <laughs> I meant to do that. Saz was desperate to save his son, but that desperation nearly drove him mad. Tosh saw what was happening and got scared, so he hid his heart away. You could have all the best intentions in the world. Doesn't mean people understand you. Ironic, isn't it? Hmm, reminds me of you and Sarah. Best intentions be damned. I don't care if Sarah knows what I'm trying to do. I'll save her, even if she hates me for it. place to hide is on daddy's head. I owe you, Lightning. You are never gonna let me live this one down, are you? Ah! <laughs> 
them easily. Go and wait for a new... for planting. I can grow vegetables here too. It's some kind of miracle that she came back.
I have special powers I use to transform into a beautiful human lady. I want to visit sure, we need the heavy lifting to the Be careful not to stray from the main trail. Don't forget to buy a ticket. Famous Tears of the Angel. He's not going anywhere. I wonder if Armand's going to show up tomorrow. Rumor has it the victims of the children's rituals come back to haunt the area at night. I want to see it for myself, but I'm not stupid enough to walk around after dark. What is it? Something the matter? Yes, actually. See this supply sphere? It's property of the Order. This is not the correct place for it at all. That's strange. Do you think someone stole this from the Order's repository and left it here? Yes, exactly. And it's not the first time it's happened. Stolen supply spheres are turning up all over. Of course, I have a good idea who the culprits are. The children of Etro, maybe? Exactly. It really is most exasperating. Not to mention worrying. Sabotaged. It could be a bomb. Mark my words, the heretics are dangerous. Who knows how far they'll go? You do know that the easiest way to find out what's inside would be to take a look? D uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for someone to come and deal with it as we speak. Though seeing as you're already here, the Order would be most grateful if you helped out. What do you want me to do exactly? Yes, each and every one. But this passcode should open them. After you've examined them all, come and talk to me. What should I do with the contents? If you've determined that there's no danger, you can keep whatever you find inside. Oh, just don't forget to report back to me once you're done.
again. I have special powers I use it. Checked them all. The supply spheres were clean, every one of them. Yes, uh, actually, I just found out the same thing on my end. Apparently, the whole thing was all just a big joke, and not a very funny one. Really? Damn it, this isn't the time for pranks. You're telling me. It was a young girl named Lumina. She's usually lurking around the cathedral. She said the spheres were supposed to be a gift for whoever found them. I should have guessed. She also left behind a message a present from me to you. Good luck saving all our souls. Like she thought the savior would find them. Why, that would make you the savior. <laughs> if you see her around, tell her thanks for the extra supplies. And that I don't believe in luck. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell her that. She likes to have a little fun sometimes, but she means no harm. She knows when enough is enough. Really? That's hard to believe. That little devil causes trouble everywhere she goes, and everywhere she doesn't. Now, now, we all need to give her a break. After all, these are trying times, and we all need to let off a little steam sometimes. She helps us laugh a little, and lightens the mood for all of us. Slow down. What are you doing, Ray? I'll tell you, but only if you beat me, okay? The rule is simple. Keep up! Don't think you can beat me because I'm a kid. Well, I'll tell you where the finish line is eventually. Ready, set, go! The goal is the Nord Station! has been the scene of much tragedy. A great number of our residents have lost their lives. Let us offer prayers once again to Great Beneverza. The 
the order i'm inspecting the clock tower that's where they hung the dummy you didn't happen to see if they left anything else behind did you thankfully nothing dangerous was uncovered but there's a problem there is i don't know if you're aware of this but the clocks in town are all set to this one well if i want to go the extra mile i really should check the other ones too make sure they're all ticking right problem is i have to stay right here and keep an eye on this one but there isn't and so you're stuck why are you so worried about the clocks, anyway? What's the big deal? It's hard to explain. I have this irrational fear that keeps creeping into my head. That should the clocks ever stop, then that'll cause everything else to, too. Time, the world, everyone. Finished. I have to know that all the clocks are ticking. I hate to ask, but could you check them for me? It would certainly help put my mind at ease. Sure. How many are there in this city? in the area where that woman was killed. My friend claims to have seen something strange late at night. collecting donations on behalf of the order. We ask that every true believer gives 100 gil to God. Bless you. And you were gonna tell me what's going on if I won. It's nothing exciting or anything like that. It's just that the whole city seems so gloomy, don't you think? Everyone's so lifeless and boring. I thought this was a good way to add a little excitement. Show people how to have fun. I won't say it was a bad idea, but weren't there other ways? Maybe. But running's about the only thing I'm really great at. Yeah, I have to admit, you're pretty fast, but not as fast as me. Well, I'm happy if I helped you get your mind off things even for a little bit. See ya! Lightning. Ha! That's a perfect name for someone fast like you. I'll beat you next time, Lightning. I 
Are you taking the train? I'm so happy Saz found his smile again. I can take a little credit for it, right? Or a lot of credit? Or all the credit? You look really upset. Yeah, bet you can't guess why. Don't tell me. You were dumped. No. Er, uh, I mean, yeah. I guess so, pretty much. We were supposed to go on a date. I made us a reservation at the Banquet of the Lord. Being stood up is never fun. Yeah. Now I've got to cancel it. I can't go alone. Unless, that is, you want to go. Wow, how could I say no? I know, I know. I'm not good at talking to women. I just wanted to sit and watch the fireworks together. My girl looking gorgeous in her best dress, the colorful lights reflected in her eyes. Did you just get asked out on a date? You're not really going, are you? He wasn't serious. Are you sure? He might end up in the banquet of the Lord at a table for two, waiting for you to show up. That's really his problem, not mine. I'm not obligated to keep him company. gave the letter to pick it, although I guess it's more accurate to say he stole it off me. He did? Um, but you know what? It might be the last thing he steals. I saw him just a little while ago, and something was different about him. He seemed proud, holding his head high. Why, well, he reminded me of his father. You did the right thing, helping that child. Maybe you shouldn't call him that. Child, I mean. He seems more mature than other kids. If you treated him more like the young man that he's become, he might listen to you. Yes, you're absolutely right. The next time I see little Pickett, I shall address him not as a child of my dear friend, but as a man in his own right. Thank you so much for all your help.
you have come, Savior. This is your fate, and you must follow it. Savior, you have come. My eye sees the truth. What the hell do you mean by that? You think that because I came today, just like you predicted, you have some kind of hold over me. And now you believe you can tell me what to do next. Yes, you must bend to our will. You're just fooling yourselves. I came here today because I wanted to, not because of any spell. Ah, yes. The illusion of free will is the spell's greatest strength. My eye has seen the truth. The three stones you must find and bring here to us. Stones? As in some kind of gem? It is ordained. You must obey. One is born by a traveling merchant. One is found in an underground path. One is found on a street with many inns. So if this spell of yours is real, I've got no choice, right? The chains of fate bind you. Light, are you feeling okay? Those men said they cast a spell on you. Do you think that that's true? They're charlatans and incompetent ones at that. Magic eyes and oracles? That wouldn't fool anyone. Good to hear. They want you to find the three desert flame gems. Ha <laughs> ha Or, I could find them. Light, you're not serious about that, are you? You know as well as me we don't have to play their games. Are you looking for someone? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Did you lose them somewhere in the crowd? They just disappeared and didn't even leave a feather behind. Leave a feather? Ah, these friends. Are they pet birds? Pets? Absolutely not. No, we were raised together. Well, you see, the truth is, I'm really a chocobo. Uh, are you sure? Oh, yes. I was born on a farm out in the wildlands. I was named Primrose after the flower, which is yellow, just like I was. We lived together in a cozy little hutch. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're saying that you're not human, but a chocobo with wings and yellow feathers. That's right. Well, I mean, I was back on the farm in the wildlands with my six friends, but then one day we were supposed to move to a new home in Yusnan. We boarded the cargo train bound for Yusnan, and that's when it came. The chaos, I mean. You got split up from your friends. Yes. I haven't seen hide or feather of them since. And the very worst thing of all, somehow I ended up turning into a human. So that's why you've been going to places where chocobos might gather. I had to do something. We promised each other we'd always be together no matter what. Right. Well, if what you say is true, it must be hard for you. I'm... Could you do me a favor? If you run into my six chocobo friends, could you tell them what happened to me? I really can't tell chocobos apart, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, yes, I'm sure. They aren't all grown up like the chocobos here. We're still pretty young. A hunt for six chocobo chicks. Hope, is there any way to pinpoint them? No, not with these sensors. But I can search the city records. Bingo, here it is. Six reports and six missing chocobo chicks. Please help me. She really seems to think that she used to be a chocobo. The question is... <sighs> Where... Um, is this what you're looking for? Oh, it is indeed. It's a precious heirloom of great sentimental value. No, Hope, I don't. It's absurd, I agree. Then why volunteer to help? I feel it's sorry for her. For guests of the Augur's Quarter. Due to the incident that occurred during the recent performance, all events in the immediate area have been... Chaos activity is also increasing. Visitors are asked to exercise due caution when on the street. Look at that cute little... Aha! Uh -huh. This little fella is lost? Well, if you have to take him back to his friends, it can't be helped. You found the first chocobo chick! Final words. 
Aha. Ah, good, good. Ah, I was hoping the owner would turn up. He was a hungry stray, so I've been looking after him and feeding him. You got two. Now to find the other four. Good luck. for your components, look no further. That's one chick found. One waiting on you. I only know because I've been sitting here for ages as well. Light, that's three down. You're halfway there. Chocobo belonged to you? My parents found her, but I don't know where. Brought her home and said they were gonna grill her with salt. But if you're the real owner, then you should have her. That's four of them. Only two to go. From you little cutie. Welcome. We... Please come again. I found you. Oh, so this little chick belongs to you. In case you didn't know, he's been here for a while. Well, you're safe now. Mommy's here. That's five chicks. You only need one more. New gems, straight from the dead do. Want to buy one? Well, that's my entire stuff. Light, I don't want to pry. Are you all right? We what I mean is, look at you. To you. To you're doing exactly what those fortune tellers told you to do. If you're asking me if I'm actually under their spell, the answer is no. Come on, they're just frauds. Exactly. I found you. Wow, seriously? You'll take the chocobo off my hands? What a relief. I found him stuck inside one of the luggage carts. I read every regulation, but there wasn't a single mention of chocobo chicks. But now I can report in the logbook that the lost animal was claimed by its owner. Case closed. Go on, he's all yours. Hope, you have to give me some credit. I'm just playing along for now. The best way to find out what they're really up to is to hand over the three gems.
I've got some good news for you. You, you have? And all six of them? They're safe and sound? Thank you. What a kind human you are. Look, can you see? My friends are saying thank you as well. Uh, you're welcome. When the first chaos swept us away, I, I didn't know what to do. So I prayed. I prayed for someone to help me, and that I wouldn't be taken away from my friends. Don't lose them again. Oh, I won't. I can promise you that. We're never going to let that happen again. And now it's time for me to return to my normal form. Thank you, Savior. surprised about this as you are. Maybe the person we talked to was just an illusion, created by this little one's desire to be with her friends again. has seen the truth. I was doubtful, but I guess you do have special powers. That spell really works. So why don't you tell me what you really want from me? Very well. The time has come. Listen well, Savior. I have seen it. You will hunt monsters, fearsome creatures that plague this land. The Eye has seen you defeat them all, even the ultimate beast. And your all-seeing eye doesn't lie, right? It is fate. The Oracle has spoken, and you have no choice but to act. Free our city of the monster menace. Light, it's pretty obvious what they're up to now, don't you think? They've got a monster infestation, and they want someone to clean it up for them. And that would be me. They're nothing more than con artists, manipulating you to do their bidding. What do they hope to gain from killing monsters? Maybe it's just as they say. Get rid of the monsters and the city will be a safer place. You're saying you think this is for the greater good. If you're right, you should help them out. Do what they want. Can you play that again for me? Oh, hey! Your name isn't Lightning, is it? And just how did you know that? Oh, well, the girl in black told me. She said that if I played this song, a lady called Lightning would show up. Lumina. That's it. Lumina. She's the one who showed me how to play the song. So, do you know it? Sure. I've heard it before. So why don't you play me the rest of it now? <laughs> What's so funny? That's exactly what Lumina said you'd say. She said that if I played the first bit, you'd come over to talk to me. And then you'd be sure to ask me to play the rest. I'm guessing now I have to do something to hear the rest, right? Yep. Lumina said if you want to hear the whole song, you're gonna have to find the musical treasure spheres. I've got a key that's supposed to open them all. I'll play Lumina's little game, but not for my own benefit. Maybe if Snow hears that song down here in the streets, it'll give him some smidgen of hope. Huh? Wait a sec. Are you saying this song has something to do with the patron? What? I can't say, but I'll tell you what. You play me the whole song, and maybe I'll tell you. All right, it's a deal. But you still have to do what I asked for first. Here's the key to the boxes.
intense fever vomiting. You want to hear the song, you know what you have to do first, right? Go and check out all the singing treasure spheres. I've got the music for you. Now play me the song. Hey, thanks, Lightning! You always love this song. I remember when you told me what it was about. That you had to believe in tomorrow, no matter how bleak the future seemed to be. Keeping hope alive gave you the strength to make tomorrow a better place. I can see you now like it was yesterday, humming the song softly to yourself. Tell me, Sarah, can you hear it now? Are you somewhere close watching me remember you? That's some story. So, the patron was her fiancé, and this was one of her favorite songs? And it must mean a lot to him. 
It would bring back a lot of memories. By the way, what's the song called? It's called Miracles. You want to do me a favor? Keep playing it as often as you can. Maybe he'll be able to hear it. It'll do him good. Sure, no problem. I doubt he can hear me down here, but I won't stop playing it, just in case. Miracles do happen sometimes, right? Maybe that music has made me overly sentimental, but I think his music will help some of the people in this town. It's a perfect message for times like this. The world may be about to end, but miracles can still happen if you believe. Hope you might be right. Who knows, music can be a very powerful thing. Things look quiet here. Hey, it's you! Welcome back! You're not gonna believe how perfect your timing is. We've got monsters infesting the whole industrial area. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? Death Safari. A battle against ferocious monsters. I came up with the title myself. But let me guess, no takers yet, right? Bunch of wimps, these tourists. But not like you, though. You can handle anything. Why don't you go in there and kill all the monsters? Clean the place out. You'd be doing me a favor, so I could offer you a discount on the usual rate. So you want me to pay for the privilege of helping you? Did I say discount? I meant to say 100% free, no charge. Okay, I'll do it. So all you want from me is to fight any monsters I come across. Nothing fancy, right? That's the spirit. I knew you'd be into it. And yeah, just fight them as they come. But bring back any items they drop so we can make a tally. Anything else I should know? Just the usual stuff. You know how it works. No guarantees at your own risk. Don't blame us if you die, etc., etc. Good luck. This doesn't look good.
for rebirth. work. So, how'd you enjoy the adventure tour? It might be too dangerous for regular tourists. On the other hand, I found it too easy, to be honest. Too easy, huh? I had a feeling you might say that, which is why I've laid on a special bonus tour. And here's the ticket. It's a special event being held in the warehouse district. Invitation only. If you head over to the warehouses, you'll find Biggs waiting for you. Just show him the ticket. A special event? You mean a dangerous event, right? I'm interested. You bet it's dangerous. <laughs> I guarantee it. Except that's against company policy. But if I do end up being reborn, I'm gonna grab life by the reins and make something of myself. Say, tell me your name. You know, just in case we meet in the next world. Mine's Wedge. I'm Lightning. And I'll see you around, Wedge. I'm sure glad you drove off those monsters for me.
I've never been able to forget those fireworks, though it's been ten years at least. I came to see them again, but nearly got caught by a security bot. I spent ages screwing up my courage for the experience of a lifetime. So I joined the tour, and it almost ended up being the last experience of my life. Tell me, are you the famous food expert? Possibly. I do boast a certain renown in culinary circles. It cannot be denied. I see. CD's restaurant, you say? I do hate to see a good restaurant go undiscovered by the dining public. So, will you help him out? I can take you right there. Oh, no. CD's restaurant? I'm afraid you will have to find someone else. I'm sorry. I can't persuade you? Impossible. This city is overflowing with restaurants crying out for the deft helping hand of Gordon Gourmet. I'm run ragged trying to keep up. And, well, you see... <laughs> right, my rule. I have an ironclad policy. I cannot help an establishment unless the owner approaches me directly. You just made that up, didn't you? <sighs> All right, can you do this for me? Just give me some advice now and I'll pass it along to the owner. You don't have to come to the restaurant at all. That sounds reasonable. I mean, I'd hate to see a restaurant serving fried niblet hairballs go under. Except, if I give advice, I need to make sure that it is communicated accurately, with total precision. And that means my messenger has to understand the instructions perfectly. Well, I guess that rules me out. Oh, you don't have to be a top chef, or even a god manger. All you need is a discerning palate. I'm not sure what you mean by a discerning palate, but I don't think I have one. Trust me when I say, it can be found. In fact, a tour of the best establishments of the Glutton's Quarters should do. Offering a complete dining experience to discerning patrons, superb food and excellent drinks are not enough. One must always anticipate the needs of your patrons. I am constantly assessing the dining space from the viewpoint of my customers, the comfort, the decor. Our customers want more than just a meal. They come for the memories they can savor for years to come. That was useful information, but you still have more to learn. You should visit more restaurants in the Glutton's Quarter. Yummy out Choco Chow. That was adorable. Good job, our new friend. You love being a widow kitty, don't you? And as a bonus for learning the magic words, I'm giving you this super special kitty costume of your own. Ta-da! Enjoy catting around as a meowtastic Makote on us. Choco rare. Well, you got your hands on a rare guard. The Makote are a legendary race said to live in another realm. 
So it's just some fairy tale? It's not my style. <laughs> Step right up! Get the best meat and kebabs! Our meat is shipped directly from the wildlands. Grilling and roasting are the best, and we do that better than anyone else. If I recall, the land they're said to inhabit in the legend is called Eorzea. Eorzea, huh? Sounds nice enough. Maybe I'll get to see it someday if it exists. Every one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. We get our seafood fresh every morning. A chef is even more important when preparing uncooked dishes. You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. You just have three more restaurants left to visit. Enjoy the healthy fruits of the earth! Even kids who hate greens love my veggie dishes. Vitamins and vegetables are determined by their color. Good evening. Two more places like the old man to sample all the popular restaurants for the this quarter. The radiation temperature committee encourages visitors. to visit all the attractions our city has to offer. Thrill, still, light, and magic. Our city has it all. We order you to enjoy yourself. Our customers come here to put down their shopping bags and rest their weary feet. We put a lot of love into our cakes and nuts. Almost there, Light. You have one more restaurant left to visit. From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks to complex and fruity concoctions with little umbrellas, we serve all kinds of drinks. Cocktails can be served, chilled or warm, shaken or stirred. Everyone has their own preferences. Well, you visited all the best restaurants. What do you say, Light? Do you feel like you've learned all there is to know? Listening to scraps of advice from chefs won't make me an expert. Besides, most of what they told me was common sense, and they didn't tell me anything I hadn't heard before. Maybe you should go back and talk to a real expert. Go to the Banquet of the Lord. Well, how goes the culinary tour? I did what you suggested. That is excellent news. If CD's restaurant wants to turn this business around... Uh, wait, let me ask you something first. You've eaten at Seedy's and at the best establishment in Usnon. Why don't you tell me what you think is the main difference between the two? I'd be interested to hear your opinion. In your own words, of course. Why? Is this some kind of test? Yes, exactly. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old Seedy's lacks? Let me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something... something seemed off. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers. In fact, I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. Yes, that's it. It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share some kind of secret. It's like a special ingredient that makes their food stand out from the others. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discovered this answer only after visiting a few establishments. It is as you say. The best, most successful restaurants have a certain je ne sais quoi, a secret something that makes their offerings unique. And finding that something, that is what I do best. In other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CDs? I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He cannot secure supplies, and that is why he struggles. Let me be specific. Once upon a time, CD's recipes all featured the spice commonly known as civet musk. 
but then supplies dried up and the restaurant fell into a long decline. You seem to know a lot about CDs. Well, a long time ago, let's just say we have a close history and leave it at that. Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurants should start bringing in customers. Yes, exactly. The problem is the spice is not easy to find. Such a shame. All for want of a single spice, his restaurant is failing. So it turns out this civet musk is a precious commodity. Why don't you let Gordon Gourmet know you have some? He can tell you what to do next. You came after all. You look absolutely beautiful. You're like an angel from heaven. I heard this place serves a mean steak. Yeah, it's delicious, all right. But first, let's watch the fireworks, okay? See? Aren't they amazing? <laughs> you know, I really want to thank you for coming out with me. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm just here for the steak. Sure, sure. We're just eating, right? My girl won't get mad at me for that. Why do you still call her my girl? I thought she dumped you. Uh, actually, about that, I kind of embellished things. When you saw me looking so blue, it wasn't because I was dumped. See, well, the thing is, me and my girl were engaged to be married. But then she died. It happened so suddenly. I, I was in shock. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, but then you came along, and I invited you out, and you said yes. And you even showed up. I mean, I didn't think you would. You don't know me from Adam. My girl and I have been looking forward to this day for weeks and weeks. She loved the fireworks of Busan. She said seeing them made her forget about the end of the world. But then, all of a sudden, she was gone for good. I think she guided you here, so I could enjoy the fireworks for us both. It sounds crazy, but it could be true. Stranger things have happened. I'd recognize that fragrance anywhere. You found Civet Musk. Thank you indeed. It's very kind what you're doing. CDs is lucky to have you on its side. Why are you thanking me? If anyone should be grateful, it's me and the owner of CDs for all of your helpful advice. Oh, uh, quite so. When you put it that way, of course you're right. But back to business. Here, I developed this new and original recipe. I want you to take it back to CDs together with the Civet Musk you acquired. The owner will be waiting anxiously for you. So, you still don't want to meet him yourself? Uh, I'm afraid that won't happen. Not ever again. However, that doesn't stop me from wishing him and CDs the very best. Please tell him that whatever happens, I'll be praying for his success. Lightning, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you remember what the owner of CDs told us when we met? You mean the story about his son that ran away from home when the restaurant started struggling? Great minds, Hope. We've both been thinking that maybe this son of his went on to become a famous food expert. And that's why Gordon won't meet CD's owner. But he still clearly wants to help out. Let's take the civet musk and recipe to CD's. Gordon Gourmet created a new recipe for you. You should make it with this civet musk. Do that, and you'll be able to save your restaurant. At least, that's what he said. Why, why, thank you! This is wonderful! How can I ever repay you? This is incredible! Everything is here in black and white! A groundbreaking dish! 
I'd never have thought to do half the things in this recipe. The genius of Gordon Gourmet oozes from every word. Notice anything else? About the recipe? No, not particularly. It's well organized, written in a clear hand. Wait. This handwriting, it looks strangely familiar. Yes, I've seen it before. These swirls, these bold loops. Could it be? I think so. It turns out Gordon Gourmet has a secret identity. He's your long lost son. He is? And you're sure it was him who created this wonderful recipe? But more importantly, he's in this town. Is he happy? You have nothing to worry about. He's doing great. Except, I'm really sorry, but I don't think he wants to see you again. I can't tell you where he is. But why? Yes, we quarreled when he left, but that was a long time ago. Is he still angry at me? Do you have a message for him? I can make sure he gets it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna make his dish, just like the recipe lays out. Would you be so good as to deliver it to him? At the very least, I want him to try it. Truth be told, what I really want to tell him is to come back to CDs and work with me. Perhaps if he knew that I still haven't lost my touch, would that be enough to entice him back? I don't know. I don't think words alone will do it, but if he tries your dish and likes it, that might be enough for him. And there it is, finished at last. Here, please, I want you to be the first to taste it. All right. I'm feeling hungry anyway. Wow. This might be the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. Really, it's incredible. Why, thank you. Although all the credit must go to my son, it was his doing. Here, I've made enough for one more. I've asked you for many favors, but would you do this last thing for me? Sure. I'll take it to Gordon Gourmet. Yes, the owner at Seedy's insisted that I bring you a portion, so you could taste it for yourself. I see. Well, then... Oh, yes. A perfect balance of fuzzy mutton and civet musk. The palate sings. It's a microcosm of culinary delight. A theme park of old factory and gustatory attractions. And if you think that's hyperbole, I've only just begun. This is even better than I imagined. I always knew he was a skilled chef, but this... So, why don't you go back there and help him out again in the kitchen? Go back? Well, what do you mean? I've never... Oh, all right. Huh? The cat's out of the bag. You've somehow figured it out. What my true identity is. Yes, I admit it. I am indeed the son of the owner of CD's restaurant. It was a long time ago, but one day we quarreled, and I left the shop vowing never to return. We fought over cooking, you see. But even after I left, I vowed that one day I would rebuild the restaurant. That's what started me on my journey to becoming Gordon Gourmet. Since then, I devoted every waking hour to learning about the culinary arts. After many years of study, I finally had an epiphany. I realized what CD's restaurant needed to regain its former glory. You had a falling out because of the menu? But when your father saw your recipe, he was thrilled. All he could talk about was how he dreamed of you coming back. So the two of you could run the restaurant together, just like old times. So he recognizes my ability. Oh, but it's too late. I can't go back now. The fact is, I abandoned him in the restaurant when times were tough. I'm ashamed of what I did. I can't face him again. You mustn't feel that way, my son. F father how did you find me? My apologies to the young lady, but I wanted to see you. I followed her after she left the shop. What do you say? Let's start over. 
You set out on your own, did things your own way, stayed true to yourself, working hard to achieve your dreams. And now look what you can do. The recipe that you created was amazing. I've never seen the likes of it before. What can I say except that I am proud of you? But father, I... I left you. Not in my wildest dreams could I have conceived of such a dish. Indeed, if you had given it to me back then, I doubt I would have recognized its greatness. But worse, I wouldn't have believed you could be capable of such a thing. I always underestimated you, my son. For that, you have my sincere apologies. It's all right. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for abandoning you in the restaurant when you were struggling to keep it going. Looks like you two have made up. Yes. Now let's get to it, shall we? Together. We'll, we'll make, make CD's a success, success again. again. you up some takeout? You know what I'd prefer over that? If sometime you made me one of your specialty dishes. I haven't spent much time in kitchens, but if you want something off a campfire grill, maybe I could rustle something up. I was never as good a cook as Sarah, but I have been told that I grill a pretty mean behemoth steak. Try a cut. Running a restaurant is hard work. So you're Wedge's friend, is that right? That's right. Biggs is the name. I'm in charge of the special event that we're running here in the warehouse district. A little something we call Death Game. Sounds exciting enough. Uh oh, it is. Tell you what, join the event, see for yourself. Alright, I'll play your game. But on one condition, if I get through this event and win it, you'll have to do me a favor. Uh, what? You want more bonus money? It's already a pretty generous payout, you know. Tell you what, I'll think about it. It's not money, and it might be to your advantage, too. But I'll tell you what it is after I've done the event. All right, fine. If you're gonna hold me to promises that you won't even tell me, then I'm gonna add some conditions of my own. Just remember our deal. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. You can...
edge of death. Shadow dance together.
fool could not hope to win. You did it, Lightning! You were so amazing in there! I think I cried at the end. Yeah. <sighs> me too. That's nice. But now, you owe me. Our deal? Right. Don't worry, I... Shut down the death game. Now. Shut, Shut down. down! But I... I saw the skeletons in there. Those are the remains of other players, right? I know what this is for. People who are tired of endless life come out here for a last taste of excitement. People shouldn't die for a game. Okay, people get killed in there, but that's not what it's about. Our customers wanted thrills, see? They were looking to put the zip back in their lives, and we gave them that chance. I get it, but it's gone too far. It's not about fun or excitement. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, we crossed the line and didn't even know it. It's time to put the fun back into our events. dying. We've got lots of great adornment. Things seem livelier than before. Real safe. The songs remind me of happier times. Or something? I could hear you talking to yourself. Oh, you mean I said all of that out loud? I don't like bothering people with my problems. Why don't you try sharing with me? You wouldn't mind? Well, as long as you keep it a secret. You're friends with the Baton Girl, right? The thing is, I've been a huge fan of hers since way before she became as popular as she is now. Watching her twirl that baton with a big smile on her face it fills my heart with cheer. The simple fact is, I adore her. So, why not today? Because she might turn me down, or even worse, think I'm a creep. I've got to do something. I can't go on living like this. That's what 
guys do, right? Give presents to the girl they like? She's obviously into fashion, so I'm going to give her an adornment. Sounds like a good plan. I, I want to, but the adornment I want is so popular that you have to be at the shop right when it opens so you can nab one before they sell out. But I always have to work then, and I can't afford to take time off. from the shop. Oh, and don't forget to get it wrapped. Light, you're being unusually kind to these two. Are you saying I'm usually not kind to people? I'm not sure what it is. There's just something about them that makes me want them to get together. In that case, the right present should do the trick, I'd say. And I don't think he'll act without one. Listen to you. All of a sudden, you're an expert on love? I haven't seen this side of you before, Hope. Hmm. I must know these things for a reason. Perhaps more memories that God has suppressed. Until the Augur's Quarter is up and running again, I'll be here helping the city and my savings. This little business here only survives with some friendly give and take. It sells out fast, so you should aim to be there right when the shop opens. Got it? Welcome. Sarah, it won't be long now. I'm coming home soon, aren't I? No, wait! <sighs> a reminder from Bunafelsa. It was just a mirage. God didn't want me to forget the bait he dangled in front of me when he asked me to be the savior. But the moment I realized that, I became aware of something else, too. When I looked into Sarah's face, when I heard her voice and when I saw the promise of her return, I should have felt something, a surge of joy or warmth. But instead, I felt nothing inside. And strangely, I didn't care. Welcome back. When I see Saz with his son Daj, I'm reminded of my own father. Though, he wasn't anything like Saz at all. He was a hard, strict man. Or so I always thought. Even if we cannot truly see them, I know that souls must exist in some form. 
How else can we explain what happened back on the wrecked ship between Saz and his son? God is not omniscient. He cannot see into the hearts of people. To him, emotions are a mystery. Only humans can truly know their secrets. Of course, there are many times when humans misread each other too. Like me and my father. For the longest time, we didn't understand each other. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human. Something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want.